Okay, so now if you're ready to take an image, um, the first thing you want to do is set the capture file name. So you go to the capture menu and then capture file name and type in some file name. So I'll type in Walter.000. We always use a three digit numerical extension. So now I'll click OK on this. And uh, you notice that it now says file Walter.000. By using that, every time it captures a new image, it will automatically increment the extension. So the first image will be 000, the next one 001, etc. Then in order to turn on the capture, I click on the camera icon, and you see how it's changed. It now says capture on down here. If I change my mind and I decide I don't want to capture this image after all, then I click on the the red line through a camera and it changes it to capture off. But let me click it on capture on and you'll see when it gets to the bottom of the image and finishes accumulating it's going to capture this image there and now it's changed to capture done so it just captured this image that we just had and it's changed the file name to Walter.001 that's the file name of the next file that it's going to save. Now let's say that while it's scanning, I perhaps changed something that isn't terribly important. For instance, maybe I decided to lower the interval gain just a little bit. Now if I click on the camera, it'll say Capture Next, because it's detected that I've made a change in the middle of things, and it doesn't like that. <clears throat> if I know what I've done, and I know that it's not something that I really care about keeping track of, I can click on the camera icon a second time, and it will change it to Capture Forced, which means that it's going to go ahead and capture this file despite the fact that I made a change. But you have to be careful, because now if I make another change, let's say I change the integral gain back to its original value, again, it goes to Capture Next. So every time you change anything, even if it's something that you consider to be unimportant, make sure that the capture is set to either Forced or Done, or else you're going to lose your image.